really the top three benefits of using Node at GoDaddy have been encouraging modularity, right? So coupling is the devil in all software. I don't care what language it is. So by writing smaller things that work well together, we're able to write more flexible solutions for our customers. I think number two is really JavaScript, right? So you've, there was not as much front-end talent as there was before. And so by choosing Node, a lot more developers are familiar with JavaScript. And I think the third would really be the community of people that are behind it. As a business, uh, the reasons that we knew we had to go with Node.js were, um, there were a few. Uh, one was that we had a whole stable of uh, trained programmers who were already good at JavaScript. Um, so there was no retraining necessary for them. Um, not even the discomfort that comes uh, with you know, a new server-side programming language. Um, we also uh, knew that Node was how we were going to get uh, the benefits of server-side rendering quickly and easily. The top benefits of Node to me, the primary one is the same language on the front end and the back end. Um, having our entire team be able to work across our entire app, even if they don't necessarily have back end knowledge, they can you know, hopefully contribute. I get a lot of value of that as, as a manager, as um, you know, kind of somebody overseeing development. Uh, Node.js is a really good option because it's small, uh, it's fast, and it's clean. Millions of people go to NFL.com every day, and having a solid user experience is absolutely essential. Node.js helps us deliver a solid user experience by allowing us to render pages on the server, decreasing the time to load for the user, and helping with search engine optimization. Samsung acquired Joyan in June, and as a result of that, it's, it, it, it means that now a billion connected devices that Samsung has are starting to depend on our public cloud. And our public cloud depends on Node.js. So in turn, it's really validation that Node is almost a perfect fit for connected devices, for IoT, and just managing petabytes of data. At Wildworks, one of the reasons we chose Node.js was its ability to scale. Um, when we release new games, uh, especially on the App Store. We really have no idea how many users we're going to get initially, and so we need something that's able to scale rapidly. And with uh, using Node.js and containers, we were really able to build that. The combination of serverless with Node.js was pretty much the ideal one just because of Node's small runtime. It really allows uh, you to deploy serverless applications quickly and have them operate really performantly on top of AWS Lambda. Nobody is going to be able to avoid Node in the future. You are going to find things that only Node can do. As we found at Rent the Runway, where Node was the only solution to uh, our desire for server-side rendered apps, Node is an increasingly large part of the ecosystem of web programming. Um, and I think we are all going to be Node shops. If you're an enterprise and you are thinking about using Node today, what I would say to you first is that JavaScript is eating the world. Writing one language makes scaling a team easier. Uh, there are always going to be differences between front-end and back-end, server and browser environments, but if you can speak a single dialect, uh, you can get really far as an organization.